It's been good. Uh, today was a little bit more rough than yesterday, but um, really happy with the splits. Um, I think that what we've been working on is aerobic training and consistency, and even though the 200 today wasn't what I wish it would be, um, I had a really good talk with Coach Dan, and um, you know, we really laid down the foundation this year aerobically so far, and we'll work on speed when we come back uh, from this meet and when we come back from uh, OTC. And um, yeah, across, across the board, I think our team has had some really nice swims, at least in distance group. So yeah, we're really excited. This fall has been really, I think it's been better than I expected. Um, I have been like dealing with tendonitis in both shoulders um, and just effects from surgery. Um, I think it wasn't until maybe like a month and a half ago that all the side effects from surgery have really gone away. Um, so yeah, it's been about a month and a half since I missed a practice for a shoulder issues. So still, still getting into things, but um, yeah, I'm, I just feel so lucky that I got back. I've been ta I was talking to a guy from Hawaii. He had shoulder surgery and he was out of the water for nine months. And so I'm just super grateful. I mean, every every time I jump in the water for practice, um, you know, I just have. I, I feel like my attitude is way, just way, uh, way better. Um, waking up for morning practice is that much easier because I was out of the water for so long and um, really just not taking any, anything for granted and whatever comes this year for NCs, for Olympic trials, um, it's just icing on the cake because I didn't even expect to really swim this year, so I'm stoked. You know, it, it was really hard at first. Um, like Jeff Kossoff's like a dad to me, so um, it, it was hard watching him leave. I love Ted. Ted is still local, um, and so we we, we love we love them, and it, and it it hurt a lot to see them um, transition out. Um, I feel like Neil and and Dan have done a great job so far. You know, bringing in what they've learned from great coaches. Um, you know, Neil Kasky was under Eddie Reese for a while, and then he was at Wisconsin. And then Dan was at Arizona when Rocket was there and all those legendary coaches uh, in the late 2000s. So I just, I, I feel super blessed to be around them. They know a lot more than I do about the sport. Um, they are young, but they have a hell of a lot of knowledge, so it's it's really cool to see so many philosophies, philosophies just converge, and I think it's been really awesome. Our sprinters have been doing, have been having great practices. Um, there's a very interesting dynamic between both coaches. Um, Dan, for the majority, takes takes on the sprinters and the stroke swimmers, and Neil is more distance, but. We'll, flop, we'll flip flop around and Dan will be with the distance guys occasionally and Neil with the sprinters doing underwater work, buckets, socks, just a whole lot of tools that hurt a lot, but uh, it's definitely a fun time, yeah. Hey, do you love swim swim as much as I do? Do you want hours of endless practice footage, race video, and a guide to the best pancakeries in the country? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel below and follow us on social media at Swim Swam News on Twitter and Instagram. If we get a million followers, I might just eat a million pancakes. Only one way to find out.